number 51. Get a clear picture in your mind of something that you would like to see happen in your life. A job, or an opportunity, or a new love, or quitting an addictive behavior, or whatever. And keep your inner focus on this picture and don't allow anyone else to smear it. And extend love outwardly with this picture in mind. The results will be worth your effort. You will manifest what you picture in your mind. Or, as it says in Proverbs, as you think, so shall you be. Number 52. Be aware of your thoughts and remind yourself that the simple act of thinking is evidence that there is an invisible energy that flows through you at all times. Every thought that you have, even though you can't see it and can't get a hold of it and has no boundaries and no form, it's still there, it's still real, it's still divine. And that's who you are, even though it's in another dimension other than your form. And when you practice living there, you are transforming, that is, going beyond the form, the form that is your body, the form that is your physical world. Number 53. Have conversations with God in private and important moments. During these conversations, instead of asking for special favors, affirm your willingness to use all of your inner strength to create solutions. Number 54. Develop your inner faith. The kind of faith I'm describing here does not need a religious service or a holy book. It comes from having the direct inner experience of God as a part of your higher self. Number 55. Let go of any repetitious inner dialogue about the horrors and tragedies of the world. Know that everything that happens is perfect, even the parts that you dislike. All of your opinions about how things should take place are nothing more than opinions that you have of how God should be orchestrating this play. There is woe in the world. There are problems in the world. William Blake said it so beautifully as you think about this affirmation for today. In his poem, he said, Man was made for joy and woe, and when this we rightly know, through the world we safely go. Joy and woe are woven fine, a clothing for the soul divine. Keep that in mind and get rid of all these ideas that all of the woes shouldn't be happening. It's all in order, and it's all to teach us some grand and heroic lesson. Number 56. Consider the possibility of totally eradicating your personal history from your consciousness and simply living completely in the present moment. You will find a new freedom as you realize that you aren't relying on the way things used to be to define your life today. Get rid of all of the labels that you've placed on yourself about all of the things that you are and just erase your past and try to go out into this day with no past at all, just now. Number 57. Slow yourself down with moments of contemplative silence. That is, do nothing. In these moments, appreciate your body and all of your physical universe. Notice the inner waves of pleasure that you experience as you go to silence. Number 58. Know that you are a soul with a body rather than a body with a soul. Remember that your soul cannot be measured or observed with the tools that we use to view the material world. That's a different world in there, that invisible divine world. And that's the world you want to connect to to transform your life. You are a soul with a body rather than a body with a soul. Number 59. Release the idea that a failed relationship makes you a failure. There are no failed relationships. Every person who enters and exits your life does so in a mutual sharing of life's divine lessons. All of us have people who come into our life for a short time and some have longer roles to play. There's no failure in there. It's all in divine order. We have who we have in our life in order to help us to create the world that we showed up here to fulfill our heroic mission. Number 60. Know that you are an eternal and purposeful being. 
Be secure and serene with no need for compliments or reassurances that you are, in one way or another, more special or distinct from others. We are all children of God, no favorites, no outcasts, all one. This is a Yuna verse, Yuna one verse song. We're all one. We don't need to think of ourselves as special because the moment we do, we make someone else not special. And all of us, if we're all special, we don't need a word like special to define us. Special is the work of the ego. You don't need your ego here. You're working at your higher self, which says you are a creation, an extension of God.